Hello everybody, my name is Evelyn Glenny. Now I have a little teaser for you. It's meant to kind of shake us all up both mentally and physically. Now this little teaser is suitable for musicians and non-musicians and I remember I gave it to a friend of mine and who is a, a, not a musician and she had really great fun with it and, and just found it really quite challenging. It's not difficult actually but it is something that you can do whether you're with an instrument such as a, a, a drum or whether you're waiting for a bus or you're sitting watching TV or wherever you are so you don't actually need any tools whatsoever and you can do this whether you're young or old whatever the case may be and you can share it as a team as well so with your friends or your teachers or whoever so all it is is this we're trying to get all of our limbs working together so speaking to each other and that's really important to see the body as well balanced the posture is good and we just develop our natural coordination and it's sometimes good to say some words as well to a particular rhythm so in this case i'm going to say beans on toast 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 Beans and toast, beans and toast, beans and toast. Now, if you have a look, I'm just tapping one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, with my left hand. And there's a saying in the percussion world whereby you're only as strong as your weaker hand. So if you can, start perhaps with your weaker hand. If you're right-handed, start with your left hand. If you're left-handed, start with your right hand. So here we've got three. Beans and toast, beans and toast, beans and toast, beans on 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 beans on beans on toast, beans on toast, beans on toast, beans on toast. So what's happening there is that we're actually playing three against two, but we're just saying beans on toast, beans on toast. So it's actually really quite simple. But what we want to do is to bring in the other limbs. So we have one, two, three, beans on toast, 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 beans on toast. And you'll discover that, ooh, you know, you might be really comfortable using your hands, but maybe not so comfortable using your left hand and your right leg or your left hand and your left leg. So just sort of identify which areas you feel might be a little bit lumpy and you can just spend time with that. You can do it much, much sl slower than what I'm doing now, or you can really speed it up. Beans, those beans, those beans, those beans, those beans. lumpy there and then you can start with your right hand so exactly the same thing except we're starting with the right hand one two three beans and toast 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 beans so on and then you can start with your left leg same thing beans and toast three with your left leg one two three one two three beans and toast 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 that's a little bit harder same thing start with your right leg then you can totally change this and start instead of the three but start with the two and just go round the cycle again but the important thing as I say is to keep your posture keep your balance there and if you find that you're getting a little bit stiff just stop 
You can do this standing up, you can do it sitting down, you can do it in lots of different ways, but keep that posture really, really well balanced. And if you find that you're stiffening up in the upper part of your body, just turn your neck a few times to the right, to the left, maybe for 30 seconds or so. Bring your head up and down again for maybe 30 seconds, point your ear upwards, not bringing your head down, but literally stretch your neck and point your ear to the ceiling, just in a really natural way and quite deliberate. And do that again, maybe for 30 seconds or so. And this will just really, really help you identify and line up that body. So beans and toast, I think you've deserved it.